Armando from Northwest Houston has a question about AC performance. Well, it's running about 10 hours a day, Tom, to get the job done. He somehow doesn't think that's right. Armando writes, it is taking about an hour to get down the temperature one degree, he mm. says. One night it took four hours at night to go down four degrees. And the AC guy says adding more insulation might help. So Armando wants to know, does that sound right to you? Should a system cool like that? Or do you think insulation is... What, 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 what's your recommendation on this? Well, first off, I just went through this in my own home. And really? it was not... Usually it'll knock it down in 15, 20 minutes sure. a degree. exactly. It wouldn't do it. And I said, hmm, something's wrong. Yeah. So, of course, I called the people at Absolute Comfort Air. Rick came out and said, yeah, you're three pounds low on Freon. You got a leak, and we found it. And anyway, yada, yada, we got through the whole thing. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is if your system is charged properly, unlike mine was not, and it was freezing over, uh, and you do notice these things because it won't feel quite right to you, it just doesn't seem to cool like it's mm -hmm. supposed to, usually that means there's something wrong with the unit, or if there's not, it's too small, and it's not handling our really intense weather right now. More insulation is probably not going to help that much, uh, but I have a feeling I'd get it checked first and make sure that charge is right because that's a sign that the charge isn't balanced properly. Well, you're sitting next to you. One of the things I've learned is that you know, your, your knee-jerk reaction or Armando's might be, well, let's get a really big unit in there that'll help, nope. but yep. too big is not good, too small. It's a, you need that, that little red riding hood right down the middle, just right thing. Going and on. that's right, and if you're switching out units it's from like an R22 to a, a mm -hmm. 410, that means you have to bump up a half a ton because the 410s have less BTUs than the R22s. A lot of people don't realize that. So if you change the unit out and it's not seemed to be working properly and use the exact same size, that's a mistake. So the R410 don't have any BTUs, FYI. <laughs> that's right. So, no, and that's going to be that way, TFN. It'll drop. All right, ASAP, why don't you send us your questions to homeshowradio.com. Use the Ask Tom form. We'll answer it just like these videos over yonder. And you subscribe to our channel, you'll be forever in our hearts.